Hey everyone, it's Justin here to bring you yet another video on an abandoned location. This time we're going to move over to Chesterfield, Virginia to talk about Cloverleaf Mall. What I find most interesting about this mall is that I've seen it on two different abandoned mall lists for the USA. So what makes a small place like Chesterfield, Virginia so special? Let's find out. So Cloverleaf Mall opened up in Chesterfield, Virginia in 1972 during the mall boom. It had three anchor stores, J.C. Penney's, Sears, and Tallheimer's. Tallheimer's was Richmond's first ever department store, which would later be bought out by Hex in 1992 and later Macy's in 2006. Major renovations were done in the late 80s and early 90s, adding a food court and moving the movie theater to the back of the mall. Here's where things started to take a turn for the mall, what pushed it to its abandoned state. Seven years after Cloverleaf opened up, Chesterfield Town Center opened up just five miles down the road, taking a lot of business. Then in the early to mid-90s, something sinister happened. After hours, two dollar store employees were stabbed to death, and the safe was emptied out. Around the same time, a woman went into the lower parking deck and was never seen again. Both cases have never been solved to this day. I couldn't find much information on the woman who went missing in the parking lot, but I did find some information on the two dollar store employees. The only evidence found was a stolen Chevy in the parking lot and that apparently a man was fleeing the mall around the time of the incident. The, this on top of the riffraff that tended to show up at the mall in later years just made people not want to show up anymore. So with failing attendance, the anchor stores moved to Chesterfield Town Center. The Tire Center in J.C. Penney's is still open, but the rest of the mall is not. Cloverleaf officially closed its doors for good in 2008 and was demolished in 2011. I really don't have many memories at this mall. I remember when it was open. I even remember commercials for it. I went here once in I think about 1998. It was for a Boy Scout event that was here, but I didn't see much more than the food court. So, if you have any memories, please be sure to share them. I'd definitely like to see them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a rating, comment, and subscribe for more. And if you missed my first video on River Country, be sure to click the annotation below.